there's a practice exercise for this particular uh, assignment and it includes an embedded spreadsheet. So to get the data from this embedded spreadsheet, you don't need to type it in again. You just double click. It will open and the data will be selected. So if you press the control key and the C key at the same time, it will copy that data. Now we're going to open up a mini tab worksheet and we're going to paste that data in again, control V and the first column is temperature. And we're going to copy the cell contents down. So the missing values actually are not missing. We know what they are. And when we are finished with this, we're going to have five observations for each temperature at each pressure. So with Minitab, it doesn't like the format of this data. So if you go into the stat, ANOVA, balanced ANOVA, meaning we have the same number of observations for each combination of variables, you'll see that um, Minitab is looking for the responses in a particular column. That's not what we have. We have the responses in three different columns corresponding to different pressures. So we have to fix that. So to do that, we're going to go to, um, well, before we do this, let's create a column for temperature, a column for pressure, and a column for defects. That's the way Minitab wants the data to be organized, and we'll go along with Minitab. So go to the data menu in the stack columns choice. So many tab asks us which columns we want to stack. We want to stack the pressure columns. So we'll select those three, click select. And we're going to analyze the data in the defects column. We're going to store the subscripts in the column labeled pressure. And we'll use the variable names in the subscript subscript column and I'll show you what that means. So basically it took the column names, high pressure, medium pressure, and low pressure, put them into the pressure column. It put the defects into the defect column. So we have five readings at high pressure for medium temp um, and they are 35, 43, 25, 38, 31. What we don't have yet is the correct temperatures. So we want to have high pressure, high temp five times, high pressure, medium temp five times, high pressure, low temp five times, and we want to repeat the temperatures for the different pressures. So we're going to go into the calc column, say make pattern data. These are text values. We want high. Oops, we're going to store the pattern data in the temperature column. And the values we want to repeat are high medium, and low. Each value is going to be listed five times because there are five replicates, and we want the entire sequence to be listed for each of the three pressure readings. So we'll put a three in there, click OK, and now we see high temperature, high pressure five times, high pressure, medium temperature five times, and those are the defect values for those five, and so on. Now the data are in the format that Minitab is looking for for the analysis of variance. So we'll do STAT, ANOVA, balanced ANOVA. We want to analyze defects. Our model is temperature and pressure and the interaction of temperature and pressure. And for graphs, let's go ahead and order up the four and one analysis of residuals so that we can see how those look. This is something that Excel doesn't automatically do. And we'll go ahead and uh, click OK. And let's first look at the residuals. Uh, essentially, the residuals should fall on a normal probability line, and these look pretty good. This is a histogram of the residuals, which should be approximately normal. Looks pretty good. When you plot the residuals versus the fitted values, you shouldn't see any obvious pattern, and I really don't. Looks like a fairly random pattern all the way. And when you look at the residuals plotted in observation order or the time order of your experiment, there shouldn't be any patterns, and there are not. So let's look at the uh, analysis numerically. 
and essentially this is the same as you would see if you did it with the Excel add-in. And uh, what it shows is that the p-value for the temperature is greater than 0.05, so temperature is not statistically meaningful. The p-value for pressure is less than 0.05, so p-value is having a real effect. Uh, the temperature pressure interaction is greater than 0.05, so the temperature pressure interaction is not statistically significant. Get the R squared value, the model explains about half the variation, 56%. And we know that the um, means of pressure were the ones that were statistically significant, so we can ignore the difference in these means. What we see is the lowest pressure mean is for low pressure, and that's 23 defects on average. And the high pressure has the highest number of defects on average, and the difference between 23 and 34 we know is statistically significant because that's what the p-value is telling us in the ANOVA table. To find out about the 23 versus 25, we'd have to do a t-test, and the 25.6 versus 34 would also have to do a t-test, and the alpha values would need to be adjusted accordingly, and that is discussed in the lesson. So that's a quick summary of how to use Minitab to look at a balanced two-way analysis of variance with replicates.